What's up guys, it's Andy and today we are going out for a lesson. It's the day after Christmas. What else would we be doing? So before we go out to the barn, I wanted to go over kind of what I got for Christmas that is equestrian related and then we'll head out to the barn. I have a lesson with I think Dana today. I'm not sure who will all be there or not be there because of the holiday. So we'll just have to see. But first let's go through my little gift haul. So my first gift that I got was from my boyfriend Paul, our cameraman, the guy who comes with me to lessons every week. Um, and what I wanted was the complete wall grooming set. So he got me that. Uh, so first I've got the wall curry comb. It's really odd because it's not circular like most curry combs. It's got really thick bristles and I don't know, it's, but yet yeah, it's like super flexible, so I think that's really cool. Um, I think the brushes are either 6 inches or 12 inches, so this is a 6 inch curry comb. I'm interested to see how it works. Um, this grooming set will be for my first horse um, when I get one, hopefully this year. It's on my list of things to do. Then I've got the face brush, so this is also a 6 inch. Really, really soft bristles, like I don't know what this is made out of, but it is, it is so nice. Like I would brush myself with this if I could. Um, and what's really nice about the walled brushes is that they're made out of like a rubber plastic kind of combination, so super easy to wash. I also really like that the bristles are short because it stops them from getting bent when they're in the grooming tote. This is the stiff body brush. It's very stiff. Um, will be really good for getting off mud or anything like that. You could even use this on hooves if you wanted to. This is the first 12 inch brush. Seems really long, but I don't know. I guess that's normal for this company. Um, so I really like that. Um, and they came in really nice boxes, which I'm going to keep them in until uh, I use them for my new horse. I really want them to stay nice because they were not cheap. Um, Wall and then Oster have their own brushes. The only thing I didn't like about the Wall set is that it doesn't have its own tote. So that's one of the things I'm going to end up buying myself with the money I got from Christmas. Um, then we also have the soft body brush, which is like the 12 inch version of the face brush. Again, short bristles that I love, super soft, which is pretty cool. Then we've got a double loop metal curry comb. It's nice because it's got thicker, deeper teeth on one side and then more shallow, softer teeth on the other, depending what part of the body you're working on or if you have a sensitive horse, it gives you some options as far as getting mud off, shedding them, that sort of thing. Um, it does come apart so you can use it with two hands, but I don't want to do that right now because I'm afraid I won't get it back together. So it's not as easy as the, the clip on your standard uh, metal curry comb. Then we've got mane and tail comb and brush. So there's wider teeth on this side, thinner teeth on this side, depending what you're using it for. And then the main brush is really stiff. It's got really long bristles. So I imagine you would want to use a mane and tail product with this. I mean, you should always anyways, but there really is no flexibility in the bristles. So if you just run it through, you're probably gonna rip out hair. So you definitely would want to use like Cowboy Magic or mane and tail, something like that. We also got a wall hoof pick. I'm indifferent on hoof picks as far as whether they have the brush on the back or not. Um, I do have like a boot brush or like a really good stiff bristled brush for getting dirt out of the bottom of the feet. So I really don't care if it has the brush or not. I know some people are really touchy about that. Um, I just wanted the complete wall set so I wasn't too worried about it. And then we also have another controversial topic, squeegees. <laughs> do you get the round connected ones or the straight flat ones? Again, I don't care as long as it does its job. So this is, I can tell, like there's the material is like a thick rubber with a real thin edge. Like this is going to be great for wicking off water in the summertime after baths. So I'm really glad that Paul got me this entire set. Um, so I will hopefully be getting myself a black and gold noble equestrian tote. I have a blue and black one right now, but I want to go for the more neutral colors for this grooming set. Like I said, it'll be for my new horse. So I'm not actually intending on using any of these until I get my horse. Um, I don't get rid of my brushes. When they're done, I usually either donate them to the school horses out at the barn if Jody wants them, or I'll see someone like Casey wants them who doesn't necessarily have the means to always be buying new stuff. So I'll see if she wants those or my old tote. So that was the entire wall set. Some of the other stuff I'll be getting for my tote are things that you can see in my uh, what do I have in my green tote video, which I'll link above here. Um, I like the Sure Hoof. Um, hoof oil. It's got like pine tar. It's really thick, but I love it. I've used it on so many horses. It's awesome. I'd also be getting fly spray, cowboy magic, little things like that to kind of complete my grooming tote. And one of the other things I got for Christmas that completes my grooming tote is my Sleek Easy. It is a de-shedding tool. 
and I have had one for probably 10 years, but the blade is all rusted and it doesn't really come clean anymore. It still works great. Um, so I might see if Casey wants to take that one too. Um, it's made out of wood. It's got a nice shedding blade. The shedding blade's a little bit thicker on this one and it's nice and sharp because it's new, but it's just, you double hand it. I think this is the 12 inch one and you just go down your horse as they're shedding and you can literally get enough hair off to make a small pony. It's just insane. Obviously my channel is too small to be sponsored, but I would definitely recommend using this. I'll link it down below. It's pretty awesome. I've, like I said, I've used it for 10 years and I would not use any other shedding tool or shedding block or any of the knockoff products of this that I've seen. And it's only $20 and it hasn't gone up or down in price in the last 10 years. So it's pretty consistent. It's a great tool. I would recommend it very highly. The next thing I got are these Total Saddle Fit Stability Stirrup Leathers. Um, they seem pretty awesome. I've seen similar products from YouTubers out in the UK. Um, unfortunately, that company doesn't actually ship to the US. I looked into it. So these retail about $140. Um, Dover had some nice sales going on for Christmas, though, including um, what my mom ended up doing, which was getting the deal for these that comes with a free Noble Equestrian mini tote for like bathing supplies or shaving supplies or whatever you want to use it for. I might gift that to Casey. So we'll see. Um, I got the size for people that are five foot four and under. So I think it's 52 inches. I'm not positive. Um, they are leather up top. They're really thick. I think two or two and a half inches thick up top. And then I'm not sure if this is all synthetic or if it's synthetic sewn over leather, um, but it's super flexible. You're not supposed to oil these or anything like that. Just keep them clean. The only downside to these that I would say is that they don't come in a lighter color. Like this is the lightest brown that they come in. It does not match my Pessoa at all. It'll work for my ovation, but definitely something to consider if you're really matchy matchy. It's probably not going to fit your saddle as far as color goes. Um, I did try it on my Pessoa last night since I have my Pessoa at home and it didn't really match very well. Now the idea is that the thicker strap keeps your leg back and holds it in place. It's supposed to help relieve knee pain, which I have as I'm getting older and riding more often. And so I'm excited to try these out at the barn today and we will see how they go. Now, what is supposed to come with these that hasn't arrived yet are the core steel aluminum stirrups, which I'll either insert a picture here or insert a video of what they look like. Um, they are a lightweight aluminum stirrup that has a very wide uh, foot placing as well as really good grip. It's supposed to help stabilize your ankle and your foot. And in combination with the stirrups, the whole shebang will actually stop my leg from moving too much and hopefully help with the knee pain. So they were in stock when Paul ordered them. When he got the confirmation email, they said they were out of stock. So I'm not really sure what's going on with uh, Dover these days. Uh, so I don't know when those are coming, hopefully sooner rather than later, because I would really like to try them out with these. I just have your traditional iron stirrup that has the white grip pad on it that everybody's had since like 1960. So I would like to try something new for once. Now, lastly, for equestrian items that I got is I gifted myself two items. I've had these items. Uh, my local tax store shut down, and that's when I bought my Ovation saddle for 50% off. And then I also bought these to give myself in a future date when I'm ready for them. And I won't be using them quite yet because mine are still good for the winter, and I'll need to break them in in the spring when I have thinner pants. But uh, I got myself uh, some Saxon half chaps. Um, I really like them. They're synthetic. They're really flexible. You don't have to break them in or oil them or anything. They've got um, elastic that goes on the outside of the calf to help it bend around. And they're super comfortable. These are the only ones I've ever worn the entire time I've ever had half chaps. Um, in the winter, my pants are really thick, so my tall boots don't fit. It is what it is. Um, they're already kind of uncomfortable to ride in when I have thin pants on. So thick pants is definitely a no-go. Can't get the zipper up. So this is what we have left. I will probably wait till spring to break them in though, just because I don't want to like rip the elastic trying to get it over my winter pants. And then to go with those, I got myself a pair of Ariat Paddock boots. Um, I really like these. I think they're super easy to break in. They're, they've got some synthetic parts to them, which make them super flexible. So it's not gonna take you five months to break them in. And then they're scuffed and nasty. They're really easy to break in and they work with my winter pants just fine. Um, if I get tired of riding in tall boots, these are also another great option. And so I could not let my store close down without buying another pair of these for myself. So again, I will be waiting until uh, spring to break these in. However, I wanted to give them to myself for Christmas, so I did. Some things I didn't get for Christmas that I will be buying and maybe I'll put in a video of me purchasing those here with some pricing is going to be that Noble Equestrian black and gold tote, the big one, um, for all of my new grooming supplies. Um, and then an idea that I gave to everybody that no one got me because they weren't comfortable either with what site they had to buy it from or what color uh, is the Lemieux saddle pads. <laughs> 
I gave it to like four different people as a gift idea and I didn't get a single one. I was hoping to kind of like grow my collection pretty quickly here through Christmas and yeah, no, didn't get a single one. So I'm going to be buying myself with uh, the money that I got for Christmas uh, at least two or three Lemieux saddle pads. I'm hoping for like gray, navy, maybe hunter green, white. I might get a second black one because I really like riding in black. Um, I'm trying to get away from the traditional saddle pads. I love how the close contact Lemieux fit with my saddles and how they fit on the horses. So um, I haven't tried a suede one yet. The one that I have is cotton and I like how thin it is. However, a lot of the colors are only available in the suede and I'm having a hard time finding them pretty much anywhere at this point, uh, which may be the struggle that everybody went through when trying to find me something for Christmas. So I'm gonna go on a deep dive hunt for some Lemieux saddle pads and then that will wrap up my Christmas haul. Uh, they won't be here before this video gets up, but hopefully they'll be coming soon and I will be a happy camper. So let's go ahead and go. Mm -hmm.